this week on Dat Poker Podcast. <laughs> he, you know the thing about Chip, I would say? He's like, I never saw him play a hand. You know, you watch some guys and you're like, wow, what the hell was he thinking? Yeah. I never saw Chip turn over a hand that didn't make sense. Where you're like, what the hell? It was always like, oh, okay, yeah, that's logical. And that was the one thing that always stuck out to me. He just never went off and played bad. And I, I know at his funeral, uh, I can't remember who it was, told the story about Chip. And, you know, he mentioned how Huck Seed and a lot of these young guys are like, you know, he said, my A game is not as good as their A game, right? It's not, he said. But the difference is I play my A or B game all cons- you know, consistently, and I can sure as hell beat their F game, which when they do play, you know, they're an open wound. So he was consistently really, really good, but he was very aware that he wasn't necessarily the most talented in all aspects, but his discipline, his focus, his just his his ability to be a smart freaking gambler. Mm. That plays a role. It's not just about who's the best player in the end, right? It's also about like who's the smartest at, you know, making money, right? Because isn't that the way we keep score? Making money. It's not like, ooh, look at that sick play he made. Oh my God, what a check raise. I'm like, yeah. But now he's buried and playing like an idiot. So what good is that? Chip Reese didn't necessarily make that crazy move, but he also didn't make any dumb ones. Listen to the complete episode on your podcast app.